going to make a quick stir fry for dinner tonight. And we've got two options. Um, if you have a look down at the ingredients, so we've got uh, some salmon, or we've got some tofu, we're vegetarians. We're going to add some cashew nuts, some capsicum, some mushrooms, snow peas. I love bok choy, so we've got lots of bok choy. Um, some zucchini, which has been homegrown. Uh, spring onions, which have just been chopped up. And just some uh, Singapore noodles, which you need to separate. So I've separated those already. And then we're just going to top it off with a few crunchy noodles, not too many of those. So we'll get started and we'll start by cooking up the onion. So we're just going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to the pan and let that heat up. And then we'll add, once this is hot, we'll add our onion. So a good way to check that your oil is hot enough is just check that when you drop in a few of the little spring onions that it's starting to sizzle. And now I know that it's okay then to put the rest of them into the pan. You don't want the oil to not be hot otherwise they'll be a bit soggy and what we want to do is just um, lightly cook these and give them a little bit of colour. So the onions are cooking away and I always like to add a little bit of the soy sauce now. I just think that it helps to brown the onions up a little bit. So, just a little bit. So let those keep cooking away. Even though they're not completely cooked yet, um, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I'm just going to add the zucchini in, which is fine. And just let that layer on top of there so that it keeps cooking. And the other thing that we're going to add to our sauce tonight is a little bit of sweet chilli. I'm a bit of a fan of the sweet chilli sauce. So it's probably about one to two tablespoons depending on how many people you're cooking for. Tonight um, this meal is going to be for three people. But um, stir fries are great the next day anyway so if you don't eat it all, it's perfect the next day for a quick snack. So you can see our pan is really starting to sizzle now and we're cooking the zucchinis up still. You're probably going to need to cook your zucchinis for at least a minute to get them to soften. So with stir fries, the good thing is it doesn't matter if the veggies are a little bit crispy, but you don't want them too hard. And it's nice just to get them browned on each side, so you may want to just like flip them over. So this is cooking on nicely now. I'm going to add in some of the bok choy. So you've got the greener part of the bok choy, but I also really love this bottom part, the stalks of the bok choy. This is really crunchy. And bok choy is such a nutritious vegetable and it's great for detoxifying. And it's also really cheap, so it's a great way to make a family meal a bit more economical. So it just gets a little bit faster from here on in. You don't need to leave the um, bok choy in for long, only for about half a minute. And then we're going to add in the mushrooms. So just chop some mushrooms, that's probably enough. And then a little bit of capsicum, red capsicum, adds nice colour, great for vitamin C. So you can see that the bulk of our meal tonight is really vegetables. Although we're going to add in some noodles, we're not going to be having too many noodles. The majority of this stir fry is all vegetables. We'll pop in the snow peas now. Pop a handful of those in. Snow peas tend to cook really quickly and we want to keep them nice and green so we don't want to overcook them. So I'm just going to pop those in. And I'm quite happy to add the noodles now as well. They just need to be heated up. They're already cooked. So we're just going to add the soft noodles. So you can see that I've already broken these up, which makes them really easy to add. And just stir in. If you don't actually break up the noodles, they'll go in in big clumps and it won't be as nice. The texture won't be as nice. You want to break those up before you add them. We're just going to pop the tofu in now. The tofu is also in our sweet chili sauce. So 
so it's been marinated. It's nice to use a flavoured tofu because it's really going to make the dish taste a lot better. And the other thing that we're going to pop in here is some cashew nuts. So, and that just gives it a little bit of crunch. Pop a few of those in. These ones are already roasted. So our stir fry over this side is um, just about ready. So I'm happy to actually turn the heat off on this. It's still cooking, so that's fine. And I'm going to pop um, the salmon on to cook in a separate pan, so that way we've got a full vegetarian meal and the salmon can just be added to the meal for those that want the salmon. So I'm just going to pop the salmon in here to cook. We've just got some pepper and a little bit of lemon has gone on the salmon. Okay, so the salmon's done now. It's flaked up a little bit, but that's fine. We're just going to turn that on. Just be careful with your fingers, but um, I always just like to just get in there and just get rid of any excess oil. I don't think we need it, so just give it a little soak up. So we're just going to serve the meal up as it is. That way we're serving vegetarian food. For those that eat salmon, we're just going to um, just crumble that up a little bit more and that can just be added to the top. Texture, I'm just going to add some crunchy noodles to the top so we feel like we've got a little bit of takeout tonight. See it? Just need a few of these just to add a little bit of texture. So that concludes our meal for tonight. We've got our vegetarian stir fry with noodles, which looks delicious, and we've also got our salmon option. And the good thing is, we've cooked all that meal the one time, everyone in the family can be happy, and all done in under half an hour. Enjoy.